Today I will show you how to make country balls in Paint.net. So first things first, you need to download this thing. Lucky for you, the software is free. Head down into the description and just get it. Now before we do anything, make sure to create a new layer so we don't draw on the background. Okay, so now country balls are round, so we will select the circle tool, right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I actually do use it in Paint.net due to my hand having Parkinson's level 1 and it may be a boss and wiggling all around the screen. If you are a French artist sipping wine and eating baguettes all day, you can do it by hand, but I'm just not gonna. For me, I will break a few pollen ball rules to hide the fact that I can't draw a goddamn thing. Then we draw the flag, we give it a few nice tries and then we just pop a nice finished flag in there. We take the magic wand tool and select the outer side of the circle. Take the selection transform mouse thingy and make it a bit smaller. We position it into the circle, select our flag and hit delete. Now we have the flag behind it and if we didn't make it smaller you could see it overflow on the borders. I might break some principles, but I do like myself some hand-drawn eyes, as using lines looks fake, so we just make one, copy the layer and move it a bit. Making two different eyes looks weird, at least for me. Make a separate layer, fill it with white, and if you don't see if you missed or not, hide the layers and put green behind it. Really works and it's a nice tip to keep in mind. Head down into the description, hit that like and subscribe button as well as the link for a plugin tool that gives us a lot of essential stuff that you need to be a pain net pro like me. Amaz told me that there is a virus in there, but I downloaded it and I'm still corona free, so I don't know what that virus was all about. Then we go to effects, object bevel and get some nice bevel for it to look round. The artistic principles tell us to make one side bright and the other dark, I am telling you to make it both dark. It just looks better. Then we do another circle, switch to fill mode, select the transform thingy, move it, press delete on that bad boy and bam, we have a shadow. Now you can just pick the transform tool and rotate it however you please. I usually let it stay in one spot for all my balls and then it looks like one sun is pointing at them and they are going all over the place. By now you know the drill, circle underneath, squish that boy, put some Japanese video production on him by adding Gaussian blur, make sure you don't cut him at the bottom and you are good to go. Now you can just add some helmets and accessories and you will get something nice looking. I recommend making a larger image and making it a template that you will always use. It has some great advantages like the fact that you don't have to do all this ever again. More importantly you can just reuse all the helmets, eyes and items you have made and they will be placed right where they belong. If you use a .pdn file, which is a paint.net file that stores layers, you can just drag the whole boy in there and you will get the whole project in its separate layers. Wow. The most important thing is to always save people, it doesn't happen that often but sometimes the application can crash by using all that big data or just the image you, you saved as PNG did not really render correctly and now you have entered the program and you can't recover and what's the, even the point if you don't like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm sure you will find some stuff that you will like for sure, so hit that subscribe button and you are sure to be happy so yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful wonderful day goodbye